हाँ स्टूडेंट्स कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट शेड्यूलिंग ऑलगरिदम दैट इज़ अ प्रायोरिटी शेड्यूलिंग ऑलगरिदम नाउ लेट अस सी व्हाट इज अस प्रायोरिटी शेड्यूलिंग ऑलगरिदम सो द नेम इट सेल्फ इज सेइंग दैट यू हैव टू सेलेक्ट द हाईएस्ट प्रायोरिटी फर्स्ट सो ए प्रायोरिटी नंबर दैट यू कॉल इट एज इंटीजर प्रायोरिटी नंबर इज ऑलवेज रिप्रेजेंटेड इन द फॉर्म इंटीजर इंटीजर इज एसोसिएटेड with each process so for you have to assign a priority to each process if you are using the priority scheduling algorithm means first you have to assign the priority to each process next the cpu cpu is allocated to the process with highest priority so first you you have to assign the priority next the cpu is allocated to the uh, process with highest priority so it takes the smallest integer as a highest priority if zero is there it is a high if one is there it is a highest priority like that so the cpu is allocated to the process with highest priority so here in priority scheduling it it may have the preemptive it takes the preemptive scheduling means it follows the preemptive scheduling so whenever the priority process uh, come the cpu has to stop the current execution of the process and executes the priority uh, request process so that you call it as a preemptive uh, next it also schedules the non preemptive also the priority scheduling also works on non preemptive and the shortest job first is priority scheduling but in reverse order means it takes the smallest one first the shortest job first is the priority scheduling uh, where priority in the inverse of predicate next cpu burst time and here in priority scheduling you came across some uh, problem so what is the problem that you came across in priority scheduling the main problem that you cream across is the starvation so this is a problem that you uh, arises in the rises in this priority schedule what do you mean by this starvation starvation means suppose when the low priority low priority processes may never execute sometimes there is a chance to the low priority process never execute in the cpu means whenever suppose the p1 is there suppose suddenly the p2 came the highest priority it will execute and p1 has to be in wait state next the p3 has came which is the highest priority than p1 next p4 came like that it is all the priority interrupts are coming the priority process are coming so the p1 has to wait until all the process that uh, that are executed by the cpu so there is a chance that the p1 may never execute also in some cases the p1 uh, never executed so that you call it as a starvation we are waiting eagerly we are waiting hungrily okay that is a starvation the p1 has to wait until the cpu is uh, given a permission to execute given a chance to enter into the cpu that you call it as a starvation that problem may arises in the priority scheduling starvation means whenever the uh, there is a chance for the low priority process may never execute and you can have a solution for this problem also so what is the solution for this problem the solution for this problem is aging what do you mean by this aging how this aging will uh, uh, overcome this starvation problem aging means uh as time progress if you take the time progresses increases the priority of the process the priority of process so means here you are assigning some time to each process in the uh, according to the priorities suppose uh, so there is a chance to execute the low priority also means whenever the time is over you, the processor has to execute that process even though you are getting the highest priority request so that is a aging 
so that is a solution for the starvation the solution for starvation is the aging now let us see the example for this example for this priority scheduling let us take the process time process let's take p1 p2 p3 p4 p5 total five process i am taking and the burst times for that process or the burst times or let us take 10 1 2 1 5 okay 10 1 2 1 5 and you have to take the priorities also i said already whenever you are uh, introducing the process you have to assign the priorities then the cpu will take the highest priority process the priorities is 3 1 4 5 2 so these are the priorities now let us see uh, how the process are executing in the cpu so the first which is having the highest priority i said uh, the priority will starts from small integer the one is having the highest priority so p2 is highest priority first p2 so what is the burst time of the p2 only one so next highest priority is p5 so what is the burst time of p5 five so one plus five six next is three that is it p1 p1 burst time is 10 so you'll get 16 10 plus 6 16 next is p3 p3 is having the next priority the burst time is 2 16 plus 2 18 the last is p4 the p4 burst time is 1 18 plus 1 19 so this is how you are going to be uh, the cpu is going to be calculated means uh, take the processes and what is the average time of this thing average waiting time average waiting time is 6 plus p1 is 6 p2 is 0 and p3 is 16 p4 is 18 and p5 is 1 by 5 so you will get 8.2 around 8.2 that is the average time so the drawback of this priority starvation is only uh, main dra dra drawback of priority is uh, scheduling is only the starvation the starvation of low priority process so this is about the priority queue a priority algorithm sorry thank you